Now, there's a toy maker from Leeds who's been trying to help thousands of children who have complex medical needs. And they've done this through special teddy bears which reflect those children's health conditions. Nick Hardman has made stuffed toys with feeding tubes, pacemakers, even dialysis machines. And now they're being sent to children all across the UK. It's Nicola Reese now reports. I really like this gorilla because he's got little foot splints, he's got glasses and he's got hearing aids to match the little one and a big scar across the belly to help the little one understand. Every toy that Nick Hardman creates is special. From crocodiles on crutches, to teddies with pacemakers, heart surgery scars and dialysis machines. This is an enormous amount of time. Uh, I've got a job three days a week, I'm a single dad with two kids and I give up the rest of my time making toys. It's too important not to do. OK, shall we turn it on for you? Right, go on. You know what to do, don't you? What started as a hobby has become a mission for the whole family. In the last 12 months, Nick's used his 3D printing skills to create medical devices for thousands of teddies. On this machine here, we've got pacemakers, and on this, we've got anatomical hearts. A pacemaker can be quite scary, but if you put a little penguin on it, then it's not scary, it's a toy. And Nick's toys are changing lives. In the last 12 months, he sent out hundreds, each one perfectly matched to a child with a complex medical condition. I'm Patrick and this is Pikachu. In Leeds, Patrick's waiting for a transplant of his liver, bowels and stomach. Sometimes he finds it hard to cope with the medical procedures that are keeping him alive. And that's where his Pokemon friend comes in. <laughs> Pikachu, just go to need a little bit of a blood sample for Birmingham. Might hurt a bit, but try and be brave, please, Pikachu. He was embarrassed about himself, but just to have something that he now can look at and say, I'm not on my own, it is only a teddy, but for him, it's, it's who he is. Patrick's toy has a catheter and feeding tubes just like him, and glasses and a bag to match too. It's helped to normalise his condition. There's pictures of the exact same spot as mine. Goes in the heart like me, mine. There's his mucus fistula, gastrostomy. I've got children myself and I know how hard it would be if they had all these disabilities, medical implants, horrible, scary surgical procedures. So to give them a teddy that's had the same surgery as them, it stops them being afraid. Nick's toys are safety tested and he's now distributing to hospitals. He doesn't make a profit, but the reward, he says, is priceless, helping families like Patrick's to cope. Done. It's hard. We understand that he is life limited, but that's not life ending. He's just amazing. He's an absolute real life superhero. <laughs> Nicola Reese, BBC News. Now isn't, that is a very clever idea. Isn't it just? It's, it's in some ways like so many of the most simple ideas. It's so obvious. Why, you know, why not do that? Why not? And the comfort, you know, everyone remembers a teddy bear they had or a toy they had that brought them comfort, you know, to cuddle up to, whatever. And to have one that reflects you mm. must mean the world.